this is Dave the Kayaker back with you with a new fresh smartwatch review. This time we have the W11. Now this guy is a blood glucose monitoring smartwatch, non-invasive. I've done six such reviews of these devices before. This is number seven. I'll show you what comes out of the box. If you've never seen one of my reviews, then uh, be prepared because what I'm going to do is fully charge this guy up, go wear it for several days, and come back and give you my full, complete, honest review. If you want to go check out those other blood glucose smartwatch uh, reviews I've done, check out my fitness tracker and smartwatch review playlist on this channel. Uh, so we have blood glucose calibration information here. Okay, I'll read that and digest it and get back to you in a few days. Uh, it's got a user manual, pretty good looking manual, nice, big, easy to read illustrations. It's got a charging cable, USB type charging cable, where this will go into a USB charging brick. And then the other end will snap on to the back of the watch magnetically. Let's see if it's got any juice in here out of the box. Press and hold that button. Yes, it's saying hello, so there is some juice in here. And it comes with a silicone watch band. So I'm going to go charge it and come back with my full, fair, and honest review. It is several days later here, so let's run through this watch. It's got a nice, bright display. It's nice and big. I like the, personally like the round shape of the watch face. There are a number of different watch faces you can switch to and there are a number more in the app that you can download this has basic information the time my number of steps kill calorie burn and it will pull in the weather when uh, tethered via bluetooth with your smartphone okay we scroll and we get into our the basic uh, counting features your your steps calorie burn and the dis distance here's your continuous heart rate it measures this using green diodes this watch has green diodes only no red diodes I find the heart rate um, readings to be reasonably credible and good. EKG, it's an EKG watch. When wearing this watch on your left arm, you start the uh, EKG mode on your phone, and then you press this electrode, completing the circuit through your body, and it does a, an EKG measurement. I like it. I think it's pretty accurate, and we'll look at the app. It does diagnostics to indicate whether there's, it detects anything uh, in your EKG that might be an issue. It does blood pressure. I find this to be pretty accurate and in line with other blood pressure uh, measurements that I have. Blood oxygen saturation or SpO2. Again, this seems to work just fine. Again, no red dial, just green, um, but it works. And here's your blood glucose mode. And a lot of people in these reviews are asking me um, if you try to take the blood glucose on just sitting on the table, will it give you some number? Because they think some of these watches might be random ge number generators. This one does not. You actually have to have it uh, on your wrist against your skin fairly tight, tightly. And I'll do one in real time here so you can see how long this will take. But you uh, just tap it. It will start to take the measurement. And uh, I find these measurements to be, I think they're in the range. And what I look for really is just the trend up and down after meals. Um, I'm not so worried about the absolute numbers. This watch does that just fine. It does body temperature. I think that is accurate. It tracks your sleep, uh, your respiratory rate. It will get you into sports modes. Now, I've only tried fitness in the gym, and I found I'll start this, I'll go do a workout, and it just kicks out of the fitness mode kind of randomly. I don't press the button to stop the exercise, so... Um, Based on that, I would not, rec not recommend this watch if you plan to use it heavily for you know, tracking exercise. Uh, but really, it's just going to give you time engaged in the activity, heart rate trace, and estimate of uh, kill calorie burn. Here is the weather pulled in again from your phone. It will push messages from your phone to the watch when tethered uh, via Bluetooth. You get into your settings. There are some brightness settings. You can uh, turn on the mode where when you lift your wrist, the display will come on automatically. You can adjust the length of the, uh, the time that the display comes on and uh, how bright it is. And there's a QR code uh, for the app to download the app. This says healthware and that is correct. Uh, this is a problem I found in the manual. It tells you to download an app called MeCare. 
That is absolutely wrong. That app won't work with this watch. You have to use uh, whatever the QR code is on the phone itself. That is the correct one. All right. So those are your basic screens. If we go uh, into, let's tap that and then tap this. That gets us into our fitness mode. You see what I did there? Hit the top button and then the bottom one. Now if you tap that top button to turn it on and then you swipe up, this gets you into those various measurement uh, areas instead of swiping from right to left. You can go to all those functions here with the addition of a few more. There's your sleep. You can uh, control the music on your phone through the watch. Again, when tethered, it's got a timer, uh, respiratory rate, and you can see it just basically all the measurements we just ran through on the other screens. Let's go take a look at the app. The app, again, is called Healthware. When you open that up, it gets you into this uh, main page where it gives you your kilocalorie burn, number of steps for the day, estimated miles. Um, you can do stuff with leaderboards and, and look at your health. There's your heart rate and beats per minute uh, tracked throughout the course of the day. All right, and I've been wearing this a number of days, and it seems to do this fairly accurately. And you can see the gaps where I had taken the watch off. All right, so that seems all pretty accurate to me. No problems there. Here's your sleep, and uh, again, you can scroll back through the days and get you know a. a it will analyze your deep versus your light sleep and just give you a little verbiage here as to whether it thinks you got a, uh, whether it had a good night's sleep or not. Here's your blood pressure. Again, I find these measurements to be credible. Um, here's your blood glucose. It will track it over the course of the day. And this does seem to take real measurements based on when I eat meals. Um, it has different reactions. I like this. Now, you can go into sort of a... Uh, a, a customization mode and what you will do is put in your low uh, blood glucose after you've when you first awake after being fasted and then you put in the your blood glucose measurement an hour after you ate a meal and that kind of gives it your upper and lower limits and then that just makes it all more accurate there's your blood oxygen saturation as it tracks it over the hours over the days over the weeks your respiratory rate so I paid for this with my own money on AliExpress, and I paid just under $50 for it, primarily because it does blood glucose monitoring, and I just like the looks of the watch. And I've been trying to do reviews of as many blood glucose measuring smartwatches as I can because I know there's a lot of interest out there in these devices. This one is credible. Um, I don't like the fact that it only has the green diodes. I wish it had red diodes, but there again, the accuracy doesn't really seem to suffer all that much. Um, if you like the looks of the watch and like the basic functionality, I would say you, know, you might want to consider this, but at the price point, $50, um, I, I think it's a little high for what you're getting with this watch. Otherwise, I think there are better options out there at this price point. This back looks kind of plastic and it's secured by some uh, by little nuts here. I don't know how waterproof this is. I did not test it because I don't trust it to be waterproof. Uh, so there you go. It's the W11 smartwatch. It's a solid watch. Um, it does blood glucose fairly accurately. It does EKG blood pressure. So yeah, yeah, I guess I would recommend it. Um, but I think there are better options out there at the price point, and you can get some uh, with the, the red diodes in there as well. You know what to do, folks. If you like this review, give it the thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. This channel is primarily about kayaking, but I do anything health and fitness related, um, which has me doing a lot of smartwatch reviews. And you can go check out all those reviews on my fitness tracker and smartwatch review playlist. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll have a couple more watches coming next. Uh, this was just kind of the last in the run of blood glucose watches. Thank you so much. Come back often and come check me out at DaveTheKayaker.com. When you want an extraordinary racing kayak made in the finest American tradition, or maybe just own a piece of American kayaking history, you want a West Side Boat Shop Kayak. Now available from DaveTheKayaker.com. Westside Boat Shop Kayaks.
The tradition continues.